Hello people, how are you? Hope everybody is in good health. I was unwell for a while. I had to go for a surgery. Uh, oral surgery, I had a lump inside my lips. So, I was unwell for a week or so. I couldn't talk even and even couldn't eat solid food for a while. Now, I'm a bit alright, I can actually <laughs> eat. So before starting the video, uh, very much thanks to Joy Pai. I got two decans from him as a gift. One is Garland Low Medial and another one is Versace Versens. Very much thanks to him. Uh, appreciate. It was lovely to have gifts such good perfumes. I was very curious about Garland Low Medial. I haven't tried it yet but soon I will so today I'm doing one unboxing video again like my few past videos so let's get to the fragrance that I'm going to unbox today so today I'm going to unbox Davidoff the brilliant game it's really I feel very happy like when I unbox the new fragrance so before I unbox this, uh, I went through few reviews before and as far as I know the perfumer behind this was uh, Jack Hooklier, I guess I am pronouncing the name right and he do have a very good resume. He did most of the flankers from uh, Angelman, Gary Mugler Angelman. So I feel it's gonna be a good fragrance that's because like Angelman line is a hit and before I purchased it I had one sample of the original one the game which was launched in 2012 I like that scent but uh, when I purchased it I just thought most probably it's gonna be in the same line from the game the original one so let's open it up okay the cracking sound of the cellophane paper here. Yeah, it's done. Let's throw it out. Okay, now the box. I like the box. It's quite simple, not that elegant looking box, but the pattern here, the keyboard kind of pattern the golden brown black the combination is quite nice black and golden and look at the font it's embossed Davidoff the brilliant game uh, all the toilet here all the toilet here 100 mo few information here is the serial number yeah serial number and few information here and made in made in France and everything okay let's open it up wow look at it look at the bottle man it's gorgeous it's one of the nice looking bottle in my collection right now wow okay I think I have something here I think I haven't got a very nice looking bottle I have most probably they had some flaws here I think the the during packaging or carrying they had one dent fine with me I think like it's not gonna be a problem but no nothing sorry. I think like it was a manufacturing fault okay so they actually made it as poker chips in the game the chips here I really like the bottle nice it's transparent you can actually see the juice not bad okay let's smell it up okay doesn't pop but yeah it's quite secure you can actually 
pull it from the cap no problem okay let's pray it not bad spare she's quite good oh Hmm. I really like the opening. There's lemon. Yeah, I can. I'm picking up lemon a lot. Still lemon. Some sweetness at the back. I like the opening. Not bad. Okay, a lot of smelling. So, yeah, the sweetness is coming up. Okay, so. The initial impression for me is good, not very good, but it's good uh, because I think it's it falls under a bit generic. Uh, the compilation is not that uh, uh, challenging or complex. It's something that you will find it in many other fragrances. Okay, so the opening, uh, what I got. It was a uh, lemon, not fresh lemon, but uh, lemon as in a bit sweeter kind of lemon. And at the back there was sweetness. And now, what I can smell is that the uh, lemon is going out and the sweetness is popping up. The tonk bean. I'm not very good at notes, I told you before, but you can check it in Fragrantica. And yeah, I'm keeping on smelling it, so that means like it's good. Okay, what I can say is that uh, if I want to compare this, uh, I will compare it with uh, some other sweet fragrances like uh, Versace Eros then the CK reveal it a bit sweeter than this but I will uh, actually throw it in that category as well as uh, Invictus the original Invictus uh, but Invictus a bit refined and more upscale than this yeah surely a nice scent uh, I'll say it's, uh, it will be versatile Mm, not uh, not in sports, but uh, you can actually go for a uh, casual dress out or formal dress out and Not for the high summer heat uh, At least it has to be a cold night uh, If it is raining according to our country if it is raining you can actually pull this off uh, and winter is gonna be a very perfect scent I don't know about the uh you know the complimentary factor but i think people are gonna like it as uh according to the climate of our country in bangladesh many people uh surrounding us actually like the citrusy quality uh fragrance a lot so it has a citrusy nature in the opening but a bit a bit sweet but still uh, still I can get a freshness of the lemon still uh, it's on my hand so till now uh, it's pretty good and according to the price range if you love a bit uh, citrus uh, sorry uh, sweet fragrance then you can actually go for it because I bought it for 2300 taka only uh, that is around um, 30 30 US dollar yeah uh, so according to the price range, I think it's quite good. Uh, that's because if you wanna go for 
Invictus is gonna cost you a lot. So at least you can get a bit not a similar kind of fragrance with uh, with this one. Like if you wanna go for Invictus, you, if you like Invictus, but if you cannot afford it, you can actually go for this because Invictus counts for um, around uh, or sixty even more than sixty dollars here. So you can actually try this before buying in Invictus or after sampling Invictus you can sample this. Yes, yeah, nice. Uh, I think you will get at least around 40% Invictus here. Uh, but if I compare as I told you like you can actually throw this one in the category of uh, category uh, of Versace Eros but Versace Eros has got a minty vibe but it doesn't have any mint here just freshness I'm getting freshness and sweetness together blend in it's kind of cocktail to me some kind of good cocktail I'm not talking about I'm not into uh, alcohol I'm not an alcoholic person but uh, if I take one good juice cocktail juice uh, which has got uh, orange or lemon in it uh, plus passion fruit and some other watermelon and some sweet fruits together it's gonna smell like this for me I'll suggest it uh, to the college kids as well as to the people who is actually are looking for a fragrance within a budget you can go for this it's gonna be a good fragrance I think personally you're gonna like it I don't know about the other people but personally you, you're going to like it so before wrapping it up I'll say it's a nice fragrance uh, for the budget uh, I really liked it uh, though a bit generic uh, I do have better fragrances in my collection but I will try this out for a few days like you know as it is raining here today and I think it's gonna rain uh, for a few days after after today so I'm going to try this a lot let me see how much projection and longevity I get from this so hope you enjoyed the video and keep smelling good buy fragrances choose better fragrances for you do not rush for the hype just trust your nose and go for a better fragrance that suits you thank you ta-ta bye bye